Hey, Cameron here with Seabetters Tech, and today we are looking at the differences in efficiency between the Intel 13th Gen 13900H and the AMD 7940HS, both current generation processors. And uh, what we're doing to test this is using them in the use case of emulation, which we are using Yuzu, Tears of the Kingdom. Whenever I do something like this, I like to show that I do purchase the software product support software developers. Um, so anyways, uh, let's go ahead and talk about the test setup. I'm using two laptops that both have 4070 mobile GPUs in them. And on the left is Intel, on the right is AMD. And it's exact same mobile GPU. The only difference here is the CPU. And what I'm going to do is limit it to 10 watts, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, run up the scale at different wattage points and see how efficient they are. Now, uh, we're starting out in an area in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom called Lookout Landing. And it is very CPU intensive usually. Uh, part of the test setup, I've capped the GPU at a thousand just because I want the GPU to stay mostly out of the equation on this. Um, but we are now 10 watts on Intel, 10 watts on AMD. And you can see that right now the frame rate is 13 frames per second on Intel and 22 on the AMD. So efficiency, this is why they put AMD in the Steam Deck and, and these low power handhelds is because they just do really good with very little amounts of power. So at 10 watts uh, on both of these, 12 and 22. But let's go ahead and bump that number up. Let's, let's boost ourselves to 15 watts and see how things change. Okay, now at 15 watts, we can see that the delta between the two frames per second has closed in a little bit. Intel's now up at 26, 27 frames per second, AMD. Uh, still ahead at 32 frames per second. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and bump things up and bring us up to 20 watts and see what it looks like then. Okay, here at 20 watts, things have really evened out. We're getting 36 frames, 35, 36, and 34, 35 on Intel. Sorry, <laughs> 35, 36 on Intel, 34, 35 on AMD. So really close here at 20 watts. Um, let's go ahead and just keep moving up the scale. Okay, here at 25 watts, we can see the Intel is now starting to pull ahead. It's uh, coming in at 41, 42 frames per second, while AMD's at 36 to 38 that I've seen over there. Okay, here at 30 watts, uh, we can see things are kind of starting to level off, giving more power isn't doing a whole lot for us. Uh, but we can see on the Intel side of things, we are at 45, 46, while AMD is at 40. So let's let's keep pushing things though because Intel's still scaling a little bit, AMD very slightly. So let's let's keep pushing. Okay, here we are at 35 watts, and you can see that Intel is at about 47 to 49 frames per second, and the AMD is about 39 to 41. Okay, and at 40 watts, we can see there is still a a pretty definitive. Uh, lead here for Intel. Um, we're, we're getting 49 to 50, where we're still, you know, 38 to 40 over there on the AMD side. So we don't have much more room. You can see that uh, the AMD chip, uh, this is a smaller chassis on this laptop and it, it's really bumping up to into its thermal limits. We still have a little overhead here on the Intel, so let's go ahead and push it up to 45. We'll try them both, but I don't know how far the, the AMD will get. We okay, so I, I adjusted the the airflow pattern. I flipped this around into uh, a situation where I can bump up the watts quite a bit, up to 42. So now it's kind of a comparison at 43 watts, 43 to 45 watts. This is as high as we're gonna be able to go, but at roughly 45 watts, you can see AMD not doing much better than it was doing at about 30 watts, frankly, uh, at 41 frames per second, and the Intel one running at uh, 53 here. Okay, so basically, like we're trying to answer is which is better, AMD or Intel, right? Well, you can see it's very nuanced. It just depends at what level of the power 
uh, curve you're on because you know 20 watts and below AMD gives you more frames for the same amount of power and heat uh, but yet once you get above 20 watts you start seeing Intel actually keep scaling and is able to scale quite a bit higher than uh, AMD can in the end of this you know AMD you may as well scale to about 20 watts and stop there because you're not going to get a whole lot more performance in this application again this is just this particular Yuzu emulation uh, that you're seeing these results it could change when you start bringing multi-core things into the equation different tasks that we're not talking about today this is just for Yuzu emulation on PC but you can see these are about the, the targets that you'd, you'd want to hit. If you do have an AMD Ryzen 7940HS, you may want to target about 20 watts because you're not going to get a whole lot more uh, by pushing it further. Uh, if you have an Intel, there is a case to be made for you know pushing it to 40 plus watts because you're going to get you know 20-30% better performance than you would otherwise. So uh, just... Those are kind of the characteristics of these CPUs in these tasks. So hope that's useful for you. If you like this video, want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe to the C Butters Tech channel, and we'll see you on the next video.